It's disturbing the amount of missing and murdered Aboriginal women in our country. Last week, a group of runners traveled from Martinsville to Onion Lake to raise awareness for all the open cases and to remember those who they've lost. We had done uh, four walks from Onion Lake to Saskatoon when my daughter had been missing. And uh, when her remains were found, uh, my son Dana wanted to do a memorial run to remember his sister. And uh, so we did four memorial runs from Martinsville to Onion Lake. It was something to remember his sister, but also the bigger picture, which is all the missing and murdered Aboriginal women. Dalene Bossy was a 25-year-old mother and university student when she went missing in Saskatoon in 2004. Her remains were discovered just outside the city four years later. I would say my daughter uh, wore rose-colored glasses. She saw the best in everyone. And that's why a lot of these people are here to support, because they know what kind of person she was like, and she didn't deserve what happened to her. One of her first cousins, uh, Terrell Fignell, came from Calgary, and two of her aunties came, one from Valley River, Manitoba, the other one from the Paw, Manitoba, and uh, another runner came all the way from Edmonton, it came from all over to show their support. Dalene's daughter Faith was only three years old when her mother went missing. All I have is pictures, videos, that's it. I, I really don't remember her at all. My dad tells me that I was her little baby and she loved me so much. And um, yeah, everyone tells me stories. My aunties, my uncles, everyone, my cousins, my cookum, my mushroom, everyone. Family and friends covered a distance of 325 kilometers in four days. I feel really, really good that they come, even though some of them aren't in my family, that like friends of the family that I don't know really, that come and support us even, yeah, even, some, some of them don't, don't even know my mom, so that's really good that they come and support. Oh, we range from 15 to 20 people up to 25, and it varies every year, like this is our last year, so uh, whoever shows up, that's fine, even if it's one person. You know, we're still going to do it. If we can help one person, you know, like my daughter was one in 500 at that time when she went missing. And now it's more like uh, over 600 missing women. And there's also children as well. And there's also the non-native population. There's many, many thousands of missing and murdered men, women and children. But we do what we can. You know, even if it just influences one person to make a change in their life and the way they think. Jade Brown heard Deline's story while in university and it inspired her to join the run. Like not one person can do this run, not one person can make this type of movement or have this type of impact that this run is having by raising awareness about the large number of missing, murdered and, abri missing and murdered Aboriginal women in Canada. And, but it takes a team, like there's a whole team of us and the organizers, you know, without the people, without the cooks, without people bringing water and everything coming together as a community and moving forward, it's, it's really powerful. When we're running, we're running with an eagle staff. And so it's a, it's a stick that has a braid of sweet grass wrapped around it as well as the four colors. And it has eagle feathers hanging off of it. And we run with that and that we get strength from as we run. And we, we're gonna, we carried that from Martinsville all the way to Onion Lake. So each runner, when they run, they carry the staff. And when we exchange runners, they pass it off to the next runner and they run ahead. I just want people to be aware that uh, I wish the numbers would decrease regarding the missing and murdered women, Aboriginal women. But unfortunately, the numbers are still increasing. And uh, like even in Winnipeg at this moment, they're having uh, memorials over there as well, marches and walks for all the missing and murdered Aboriginal women in Manitoba. So I know Saskatchewan has a high number as well, and in the West. So we continue to do what we can to raise awareness regarding this, this horrible issue. Hopefully more people will be aware of this and make a change as well, inform more people of what's going on. And, and it doesn't just fall on us to make the change. It falls on everybody to know that this is an issue. Like this is, there's an outstanding number of missing and murdered Aboriginal women in our country. And why is that? 
You know, I'm an Aboriginal woman myself and I want to feel safe. And by having this run, we show our support for the family and we let people know that they, that late Darlene was a person. She was a woman, she was a mother, she was a daughter, she was a friend to so many people and she was loved and important to so many people. Just like all the other missing and murdered Aboriginal women in Canada, they're somebody and somebody loves them and we love them. And that's what the run is about. After the break, we attend the Onion Lake Annual Pow Wow. Please stay with us.